Hi guys, I'm back. I wanted to tell you about Hollywood Studios at Disney World. It's one of my favorite parks. Um, so I'm going to be giving an in in depth, yeah, an in depth um, look at each park and tell you what are some of my favorite rides and tips. So let's get started. So I went to Hollywood Studios not really knowing what to expect. I had always thought my favorite park was Magic Kingdom, but I was really amazed and surprised. I actually loved Hollywood Studios. It's now my favorite park at Disney World, and I think you have to go to Hollywood Studios if you want to go to Disney Park. Um, number one, it's not as crowded as Magic Kingdom is. Magic Kingdom is just ridiculous. It gets so crowded there, but at um, Hollywood Studios, there's a considerable amount of space depending on what day you're going. Uh, I would say go on a Sunday. That's um, the time that I went. Um, and make sure that you're getting there early. Like I know that that's a tip that you probably... I've heard so many times, but really, going early is the best time. No one goes at, like, 8, well, actually, what time does this park open? I think 10. No one goes. Like, no one is there at all. It's just empty. Take advantage, because you will love it. Um, so, some of my favorite attractions that you have to ride, I would say Star Tours. I, I rode Star Tours, like, three times. Um, the first time I had a Fast Pass for it, um, Star Tours has changed a lot, actually. When I first went, it wasn't the way that it it, it is now. It's the, the way that it is now is actually so much better. Um, you have to ride it, and you have to ride it twice because there's two different, like, adventures that you can go on. One is with Darth Vader, and then one is with, like, a passenger is in, like, the car or something like that. They are both super fun you have to and sit like in either the the back or the front row oh, it's so much fun um but make sure that you actually I, I wouldn't say that you need a fast pass for that um i mean if that's the ride that you know you want to ride on yeah but if you get there early you should it, it, there's only be like a five ten minute wait depending on what day you go so my second favorite ride um is the Toy Story Midway of Mania. You will need a fast pass for this. Don't even try but don't even try bypassing it. You need a fast pass and you need to schedule it because that ride gets crazy long. Even when you're there the first thing in the morning, that's the ride that everyone's going to. So make sure that you schedule a fast pass early in the morning and make sure that you get one because it'll be like a two hour wait and no one really has time for that. Um I don't do wait times that are longer than 45 minutes uh, because I feel like if you do anything longer than 45 minutes I mean you're just wasting your day um the second thing that I would say ride is the rock and roller coaster um I actually didn't get a chance to ride this when I went but I've ridden it before this is one of my favorite rides it's not as bad as you think I think a lot of people think that it's super terrible um the only bad thing is the loops um, I have bad motion sickness, so loops are not my friend. Uh, but other than that, it's actually really cool. The technology is really amazing how they get, like, Aerosmith, um, to do stuff. Um, Hollywood Studios doesn't have as many rides as well as, um, Magic Kingdom, but I do think it's a really cool place to hang out. Um, my last attraction that I would say you have to go to is the Magic of Disney Animation. This thing fills up super quickly. Um, so make sure that you go in, there's like um, a meet and greet pavilion, and it's in that same building. Make sure that you go really early or either really late. Um, maybe like if you have a, uh, extra magic hours, do it then because that's when I did it. It's a lot of fun to get to create your own character, and it's free. We did Winnie the Pooh, um... And it was absolutely cute. I actually didn't think I was going to be able to draw it. And I did, and it was fun. And it's something, like, great to do, like, to calm down and relax. So now I'm going to tell you some things not to waste your time on. Um, I made the mistake of wanting to go to Muppet Vision 3D and actually scheduling a fast pass for it. Don't know why I did this. Last time I went to Hollywood Studios, I loved Muppet Vision 3D. I thought it was, like, the coolest thing ever. But I think that was because I was like 9, um, and now I'm 16, so I guess I don't care about it as much. Yeah, don't waste your time on Muppet Vision. You will be very disappointed. First of all, the seats are kind of old. Um, the 3D is kind of like 
cheap and no one really cares about it anymore. It's not even 3D. Um, they use gags that aren't funny to adults. The only cool part is that you get to see some Muppet characters in real life. But other than that, it's not that great of a ride. It's not as great as I thought it was going to be. Um, don't waste your time unless it's only like a two minute wait time and you have nothing else to do. Um, because you will be disappointed. Um, that's really my only thing that I would say waste your time on. Um, because, you know, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids and the Academy of Television Art and then Walt Disney One Man's Dream, um, they don't really have a wait time because no one goes in there. So those are some things, if you want to take some time and you have some time, go in there and just, it's a cool place to cool off. And they have some cool things. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Uh, like I said, Hollywood Studios is not the biggest park, but it's really fun. And make sure that you actually stop for the shows, because, um, when, at, at around, like, I think 11, they start having all of the, um, ho old Hollywood stars come out, and they are hilarious, and they, like, you have to watch it. It's very cool. Um, now on to, uh, where to eat. So, the nice thing about Hollywood Studios is that they have really cool dining experiences. I think theirs is the coolest out of um, any Disney park, at least in my opinion. Um, their stuff is really cool. Um, so when I went, we went to the 50s Primetime Cafe because I kept hearing wonderful things about it. First of all, the thing that happened was I scheduled an appointment because that's what I do, and I scheduled the time. And we still had to wait, I believe, at least 45 minutes for a table to open up. And at first I was going to leave because, I mean, I made a reservation. I shouldn't have to wait. And this happened twice, actually, at the Disney Park, which I didn't really enjoy. But I'm so glad that we actually stayed. Oh, my gosh. That was one of the best dining experiences. I realized that they were a little bit rushed, too, so we didn't get, like, the full... Um, experience but just having them yell at you and then hearing the conversations at the other table like they are just hilarious um one lady got spoon one guy actually got spoon fed uh, because he wasn't eating what he wanted to eat and then uh, my friend got yelled at for putting her elbows on the table oh uh, it's so funny and then despite even just having great entertainment the food is also really really good um i got the vegetarian lasagna which they don't I mean, normally I don't get vegetarian lasagnas um, because they're not very good. This vegetarian lasagna was so good. It was delicious. And I shared it with my friend who's also vegetarian. I have dreams about it. And I also have dreams about the vanilla Coke. If you go, you have to get the vanilla Coke. It's not like a normal kind of vanilla Coke that you can just get at the store. This is so delicious and sweet. And I would actually kill for it. I really would. Like, how can I get some? I need the recipe now. Um, but besides the 50s Prime Time Cafe, you can also go to um, the, what is it called? Um, Sci-Fi Dine-In Theater, which is really cool. Um, it's like you're sitting in a car um, at a drive-in movie theater. But you're like eating and it's really cool um my only problem with that is that they don't have the best options it's mostly just hamburger and fries but they do fill up really fast so make sure like any place that you want to get a table at reserve because it can get super crowded um another cool place to go is the pizza planet just because it's toy story why not um but yeah i'm gonna just highly recommend the 50s farm cafe i mean there are also like little places that you can go um to, you know, have, like, a coffee or something like that. And lastly, um, we're going to talk about entertainment at Disney World. So, like, the shows that they have. Um, so they have Beauty and the Beast, The Little Mermaid, Voyage of the Little Mermaid, uh, Indiana Jones, Backlight Express, Lights, Motor, Action, um, Disney Junior, Fantasmic, and then the first time in forever, like the Frozen sing-along. And then the meet and greets, I think. Um, I've been to, to both Voyage of the Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast. Um, I 
can't say that I love loved Beauty and the Beast. Um, it's very kid kiddish. It's for little kids. Um, a four year old, a six year old would love Beauty and the Beast. Um, but eh, it was okay. Uh, actually, Voyage of the Little Mermaid is a little bit better. Uh, I would say go to that one instead. But we did get a free fast pass for Beauty and the Beast, so it wasn't that bad. Um, also, I would highly recommend going to the Indiana Jones and the Lights Motor Action. Both really cool shows. Indiana Jones is my favorite, but Lights Motor Action was pretty cool as well. Especially if you want to know some behind-the-scenes stuff. Um, and, of course, you have to go to Fantasmic. You just have to. Um, they have three shows. Go to the last show because no one's at the last show. It's literally empty. Um, so now on to Frozen. I did not go to the Frozen sing-along because, well, I just didn't want to. Uh, I only really love Frozen. But the wait time for that show is so long. I don't even think it's worth it. I mean... If they want to sing along that much, just buy the CD and, and have them sing along with the CD. I mean, it is literally ridiculous. But if your children really like it, I guess I would say go. Um, I haven't been. Maybe next time I go to Disney World, I'll go to the Frozen sing-along. It'll be torture, but I'll go. Um, but really, that's all that I have to say um, about Hollywood Studios. Except for when you go, have fun. And... Don't let all the craziness get in the way of fun. Take a couple breaks, relax, but yet also have a plan. Having a plan is the best way to go to Disney World. Because if you don't have a plan, you're going to be very confused and upset. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.